everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to talk about how to install source tree and I found out that there is a bug in source tree. Imagine that. So in this version, if you install on a Mac, it's pretty straightforward. You click on it, you download it, click on a link, and install. Now, I ran into an issue I was trying to install on Windows 7 and for about a half hour now I played around with it and figured a trick to it. However, I also have a Windows 10 machine and I tried it on Windows 10, it works perfectly fine. So I think that the file, how they have it set up, is only equipped for Windows 10 and not anything before that. So that's a bug on their end. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that bug. So if you are running a lower uh, version instead of Windows 10, which probably most of you are running Windows 10 or, or you're utilizing a, a, a Mac. So I'm gonna show you how to get past it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Download, well, let's see here. You're gonna to go to sourcetreeapp.com. Then I am going to, let's go here, I'm gonna hit download for Windows. And I have a menu that comes up and says, you wanna save as, I'm gonna do save as. All right, so here's where you need to change it. So it says save as. If I hit this, it'll save it as a file. And I don't wanna do it as a file because then I can't install. So let me show you what I mean. So if I hit save, I go to open folder. This is what I have as a file. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to purge that. And let's try it again. So I'm going to say download source tree again. And I'm going to hit go up to save as. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this and put all files. I'm going to add a .exe at the end of this for execution. That's what we want and hit save. Now if I go to open folder, we have this right here. So if I double click on it, it should come up and say, hey, do you want to run it? So I want to run it. And now as you see here, it's actually going to work. It's going to do the installation because before it didn't know what to do. So I'm going to do, I agree. I don't want to help improve. And let's see, log into Alaska. So this is what we need to do is we need to have an Alaska account. So what you need to do is sign up for uh, an existing account or go to Alaska. Well, let's say we went to Alaska. So what we can do is we can open a different one up here real quick. Open the tab. And we're going to go to Alaska. Open the software. Alright. So now what we need to do is set up the Let's see how we do that. How do we do this before? Every time you go to do something, it changes. So I'll do it once. Along with Google, or you can set up a new account. So let's say you don't have an account, you can sign up and then you'll put your email address in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an account that I didn't sign up with yet so we can kind of walk through the process. So, I'm going to use my other education account just because it's not on file. And let's see here, a few words for the email. So, I'll give it a password. Um, I'll do it on my robot. Next, um, window, next, where is my, alright, great, now I'm going to sign up, and it's going to call up and says, would you like to store your password for the last so, um, so now they, what they did is they went and sent me a verification email, so now I have to go over to my account with UIC, and I am going to verify that I am who I am. Verified myself. Click the link. So what happens is it says again verifying. I verified that I am who I am. And now this is Jeffrey Sheehan. Welcome to the last portal. This is the portal. Oh, I can't do it too much. Well, I don't care. Alright, so now I've set that account up. And I'm kind of good to go. So now let's do this. Let's go back to the last one here. And say, hey, let's do So I will do uh, every season at West Liberty TV. Next. And at my password. So my password is not in. Um, Alright. 
waiting. Right, so now I'm going to continue. Alright, so the heaviest different things we're going to use is the bucket. And the, uh, that'll be another video, I'll show you how to establish that. But right now, let's see, we have a block, we can use a block, which is off of the We can use it as a back and one coat. Alright, continue. Alright, so we're going to log in again. This will be another video. I'm not going to go into this aspect of it. Um, how to get started and so forth. I'm going to have to take that to this. Do something here for us today. Hi, Jeffrey. Please see you in the CCS. All right, so I'll hit continue. Uh, I'll have a follow up here. Um, CCAC. Let's see how bad I have. I'll have the CCAC. Or I think that's not available. So, uh, flying solo or playing along with others. Right now, I'm just going to do a great repository. Um, I'll call it um, my code. Simple. This is a private repository. It's Git. I'll put it on the other one. And that's it. So, we have this repository set up. This is a whole other uh, video on it. You know, let's see, it's still trying to do that. So, let's do this here. Let's do basic. Let's do skip setup for that. We'll go set that up later. Um, I don't have an SSH. Um, let's see. So now you can see that we have a uh, source tree installed. Uh, it's up. Oops, mark that. There we go. Source tree right here. Um, we have it installed, and that's what we're all we're working about right now. I'm not going to walk through this video and show you how to do it. That's going to be something in class, or I'll post a video afterwards showing how to set up your repository. Because the next thing that we need to do is set up our Bitbucket account, get our repository set up up there, and so forth. So there's a lot of work that we have to do. And to be honest with you, that probably will happen in week two. Week one, all we're con all I'm concerned about is making sure that we have everything installed and working, and then week two we'll actually start talking about how to do stuff and how to integrate stuff. So this will be for both my classes this semester. Uh, at the the fall of 2017 semester, uh, week one, we're going to talk about just installing stuff. And week two, we'll do um, how to do stuff. That way, by week three, we're booming. Uh, business is booming, basically, and we are able to accomplish everything that we want. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions,